What's up, guys? Today I have um, some more awesome tricks to show you, and I have also put a free winterboard theme at the end of the video. So let's start. Uh, the first trick is called Album Art Center. What it actually does is when you play some music, let's play some music from the music app. Uh, let's pick this because it has an album artwork just for this. And um, when you pull up the control center, you can see the album artwork in the control center. So basically, well, that's what um, album artwork does. It shows you the album artwork of the song in the control center. And you can change some settings here. You can see you can change many settings and also you can change the cover blur of the album artwork that appears in the control center and many things so that's a really nice trick guys it's free uh, and once again it's called album art center so the next one is called up color close so what up color close does is when you enter jiggly mode and you can see that um, the x is uh, corresponding to the icon color so it's really nice um, and uh, what you can configure in the settings is um, the tint alpha so how bright this color will be so a really nice trick if you want your X button to correspond with your icon color once again it's called up color close so the next trick I'm going to show you is called barrel you can see that my icons have that animation they group and then ungroup that's basically what Bio does. It adds really cool animation to your icons and it's paid but I think it's worth the price. So um, I'll show you now. Bio. Oops. Yep, and here is Bio. And, and um, you can see that you can choose um, different modes here different animations and um, mine is actually called icon collection and yeah it's really cool tweak you can add um, animations really cool animations to your icons and once again it's called barrel next up we have better nc7 so what better nc7 does is where you can see when i pull up my notification center it doesn't have any uh, some doesn't have any um, separators here you can see um, and also um, you can see here that uh, I use the clear button instead of the X button and uh, when the notifications have a, a lot of preview lines you can see that the preview is uh, actually really big so actually when you go to the settings application and um, when you go to beta nc7 there are a lot of options to configure you can see you can hide the separators bottom separator top separator yahoo logo um, use the clear instead of x um, also hide the tabs and uh, hide the grabber and also change the preview lines of the notifications as you saw my previews were really big so yeah that's what um, uh, better nc7 does and it's really cool if you want to customize your uh, notification center but uh, you must keep in mind that all changes require whispering so once again it's called better nc7 So jumping on to the next tweak, we have Muta Icon Mover Plus. So that's a um, tweak that I use almost all the time. It's really handy and really nice. So what it does is actually when you um, when you select some apps, you can see that you can tap them and select them just like this. Then when you go to the other home screen, just tap the home button and they will appear there. So that's really nice, you could just move uh, your icons around easily without having to drag them. It's really nice, once again it's called Motor Icon Mover Plus. So now I'll just um, move them back. 
and rearrange them just like this, you know. So once again, it's called Mutaek and Mova Plus. And the next trick I'm going to show you is called Musical. It actually is uh, very new, it just uh, appeared in my changes of Cydia, you know, the changes tab today. Uh, and um, what Musical does is, well, when you play some music, and just play some music, like this. And you can see that when I pull up the notifications, uh, the, uh, sorry, the control center, uh, I have the um, repeat and uh, shuffle button here. You can see um, right in the control center. And also, I also have them on the lock screen. You can see that. Um, I have these buttons on the lock screen, the shuffle and the repeat button. So it's a really nice tweak. It allows you to add um, your shuffle and your repeat button right in the um, control center and also in the notification, um, the lock screen. Yeah, so once again. This tweak is called um, Musical. Now the next tweak is called Notify Me Again. So when you jump into the settings app and go to the tweaks page, here is Notify Me Again. And what Notify Me Again does is actually you can delay notifications and um, you can, for example, left swipe on a notification to delay it 5 minutes. Like this you left swipe on the banner or right swipe to delay it 1 minute. Um, and uh, when you delay it, that notification will uh, pop again at the stated time. And um, you just swipe on the banner of the notification. So this is all customizable, of course. You can change uh, the delay. The delay you can see here. So we'll just keep it like this. And um, I'll just send myself a message so you can see on the right swipe and the left swipe delay. Let's go to the Messages app and send myself a message. And actually go out of the app before it's sent. You can see if I swipe right, it said uh, for one minute and the notification got dismissed. So now after one minute I'll get another notification like this. And so as you can see, I got another notification um, after just a minute. And so what, that's what um, Notify Me Again does. It allows you to delay notifications for a certain amount of time, so you can be notified again. So it's really cool guys, definitely check it out, it's free. So the next trick I'm going to show you today is called Type Status. That will, oops, sorry, um, that will um, tell you when someone is typing an iMessage. And you'll see how it works now. Just test the typing, and you can see typing John Appleseed. Um, or when someone reads your message, you can see it says the red John Appleseed. So, yeah, that's the test, and um, that's how the trick works. If someone is typing, um, you receive a notification, and if someone read your message, you receive a notification, which is really cool. And uh, you can um, customize the settings here. So once again, it's called Type Styles. So the next trick I'm going to show you is called Round Screen Corners. As you may have noticed, my screen corners are rounded. They are not that, um, you know, they are a bit rounded um, around the edges here. They are rounded, as you can see here. And um, if you want uh, these rounded screen corners, it's actually a kind of cool effect. And um, yeah, so if you want these um, rounded screen corners, you can get um, round screen corners. It's a free trick. 
and actually in settings has a page and um, we can configure some options here so yeah once again that trick is called one screen corners so the next trick I'm going to show you is called better folders uh, it's actually called better folder sorry and um, what better folder allows you to do is well, when you jump into folder you can for example pinch to close like um, this pinch and close the folder yep uh, sorry I just brought up my notification center yeah so pinch to close allows you to just pinch to close your folder and it also allows nested folders the better folder tweak you can see I have nested folders a folder inside a folder and I can again pinch to close the nested folders so it's a really cool tweak and uh, it actually also allows you to let's go to better folders it allows you to clear the background um, no, uh, no wallpaper zoom so when you jump into the folder your wallpaper won't be zoomed and um, you can also clear the folder icon and you can see what this does here the clear folder icon options and uh, you have to respring only if you are using the clear folder icon option so just clear the background now so you can see yeah, and you can see here there is no blurred background it's just the folder and my nested folders so it's really cool once again this trick is called better folder and so the last trick I'm going to show you today guys is a really nice trick um, it's called auto control and what it does is um, it uh, makes your control center show the audio controls only when you have your audio playing so um, it's really cool there is there is no options to configure and as you can see my control center doesn't show the audio controls and as you may have noticed um, earlier in this video when I played the music it showed the audio controls so that's really cool tweak once again it's called um, auto control and it, it will only show the audio controls in the control center when you are playing some media it's free and um, it's from the big boss whip so just to finish this video I'll tell you that um, the theme I'm using now it's called Mandolino and um, it's free in CDA you can check it out it's really cool you can see that these colors everything just matches the interface and it's really awesome you can see here in the settings everywhere it's really cool so yeah so once again guys this really great theme that I'm using now and I really like is called Mandolino it's free in CDA and you uh, may definitely check it out so that's it for this video guys, hope you liked it, if you did uh, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching, peace out.